Thank you, Professor Biskupski. Professor Biskupski is a distinguished professor at Central Connecticut State University. Excuse me very much, Professor Biskupski. Okay, um, right now we'd like to have Anu Radha come and lead us in this journey of polls in India. And where's she at? Ah, okay. Honorable Executive Committee members, especially Dr. Marek Blazak, where is he? <laughs> and dear guest, Jindobre, or as we say, Namaskar from India. I'm truly humbled to be given an opportunity to be amongst such distinguished forum of scholars, academicians, authors and my own fraternity of filmmakers who belong to my second home, Poland. Many of you may have had connects through your elder generation of Poles talking about their childhood home in India during difficult times of World War II. These children, now aged 80 years plus, one of whom is here, and spread across the globe had been trying to tell their story once upon a time of their home in India to the world. Today I bring to you glimpses of the journey for which I'm here to share with you. So I'm going to start with my journey, which all of you may know briefly about my film a Little Poland in India. Jestem na tej ziemi po raz czwarty i nie wiem, czy nie po raz ostatni, ale ta ziemia pozostanie zawsze w moim sercu. Nineteen thirty nine, a year etched in the memory of history and historians. While in the Indian subcontinent, Mohan Das Karamchand Gandhi, revered as the father of the nation, took his first step to end an autocratic rule through a non violent protest. There was violence at its worst brewing across Europe. It was the beginning of World War II. Ja tam miałem jeszcze takie organki, które po drodze trzymałem jakoś w ręku, bo no i wchodzimy na ten, drapiemy się na ten samochód, no i, i tam już pełen tych ludzi, byliśmy przerażeni po prostu.
dowiedziałam się, że tatuś nie żyje i, nig- i od tego czasu już nigdy nie odmówiłam tej modlitwy, którą właśnie, którą wierzyłam, że, 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 że pomoże. Miałem około 6 lat. Wobec tego mama zapytała, a gdzie on jest? Gdzie może być? Kierowniczka odpowiedziała, może na cmentarzu sprawdź. ale udało mi się dyskretnie podejść pod okno, które było uchylone. Tyle, co ostatni raz widziałem matkę. The voices of these young innocent children was heard by Jam Sahab Digvijay Sinji, the Maharaja of Navanagar, an erstwhile princely state in the Kathiawar Peninsula, alongside the state of Gujarat in India, a country where history embedded with valor and tradition treat guests as God. Deeply moved and distressed by the suffering of the Polish nation and especially of those who are spending their childhood and youth in the tragic circumstances of this most terrible of wars, I wanted to contribute and in some way improve their lot by offering them refuge in a country that is far away from the ravages of war. I remember when you came, because we were very excited, we watched your camp being made, because it was where we used to live in the summer. And then my father said, today they are coming, and then you must come and meet them when they have settled in their camp. And we came and we see all of you there, and we said, but where have they come from? So Papu told us that he had said he was adopting you, and that you had come from Poland. And now these are your brothers and sisters. This is my brother's Kiedy dzieci przyjechały do Balachadzi, otrzymały posiłek. Maharadża zauważył, że dzieci się trochę krzywiły, bo były zbyt ostre dla nich. I powiedział, nie martwcie się. I później sprowadził siedmiu kuścików z goła. Oprócz zajęć szkolnych, wychowawczych, ja Bardzo lubiłem stworzenia i między innymi, żeby mieć swoje, to chodziłem po drzewach, wybierałem młode papugi, tak samo młode gołębie, też takie nieloty jeszcze i z tym, że one już ten też trzeba było im otwierać i do dzióbka wkładać. Wiewiórki malutkie też się wybierało i karmiło się mlekiem z pipetki takiej do zakraplania oczu. Marzy mi się ta klatka i cieszył mi się, gdyby ktoś odnalazł i przywiózł mi ją do Polski. Life was creating a very different breath of love for two young teenage survivors who had traveled difficult journeys alone to find a home under Bapu's protection in Balachari. Wszystko mi się spodobało, no bo była pierwszą dziewczyną, którą ja się w ogóle zainteresowałem. Jeszcze dużo później, bo dopiero w 2007 na końcu tego roku. Gdybym nie wyjechał do Indii, 
no to prawie na pewno nie spotkałbym Jadwigi. Czyli dzięki Maharadży spotkaliśmy się i teraz jesteśmy razem. Mój ojciec został zamordowany przez Sowietów. W Indiach Maharadża Jam Saheb stał się dla nas drugim ojcem. Mam wrażenie, że wtedy Balaczady było jednym z nielicznych miejsc na świecie, gdzie 365 razy w roku była podnoszona polska bandera przy udziale wszystkich dzieci sierocińca, bo w kraju wtedy było to niemożliwe. Most of you should join us for the screening today evening. I think Marek must have shared. It's going to be screened at an Indian embassy today evening, the full film. This is just a glimpse I wanted to show you of the journey. Oh. Okay. Uh, my Polish love affair, the Polish love affair with India continues because we continue to tell the story after the film was made in many other platforms. And the recent being that in 2018, we celebrated this whole Indo-Polish relationship by having a very big event in that same location you saw in the film, Balachari, where we had all the survivors who came there, and I named it Generation to Generations. We did it with the Polish Embassy, where I curated this whole event, some of the glimpses of the survivors visiting their, their camp where they stayed, which is now a school, and I'm very humbled to be honored with a benemerito from Republic of Poland, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. But that aside, what you see on the right hand side is the love I share with my family in Poland, all the survivors who signed this plaque and gave it to me last year when they visited the camp. So that's the love affair I have with Poles. Well, as the film A Little Poland in India was being showcased on various platforms across the globe, I discovered another very unique story. The effort which Jam Sahab the Maharaja did, after that effort, a very big Polish camp, I mean, I realized my journey with Poland had just begun. And there was a very big camp which was established in a small town in India called Valivade. And Valivade is near Mumbai. And this camp had 5,000 women with their children who lived there from 1943 to 48. And I'm very pleased to have, I don't know others, but Eugene has come here, who's a survivor of Valivade. And Eugene contacted me from London, and he came here because he wanted to have the film DVDs. So anyways, to move the story further, I discovered a very unique love story. The love story which you saw in A Little Poland in India was nothing compared to the love story I discovered in Valivade. And I'll just share that with you. Although the war in Europe had come to an end, Poland still was under a communist regime. 
While India was close to gaining independence, the Maharajas, including Jam Sahab's social status was diminished considerably. Since 1943, a new and well-organized Polish colony was already set up in Waliwade in India. It was in 1943 when we came to Valivade. I, I really remember Valivade with a smile. Because that's where my childhood really began. It was a, such a different country to whatever I already seen. So we had a veranda and all that green around us. So it was like home, first proper home. Valivare Polish refugee camp was opened on the 27th of April 1944 to welcome Polish women and children into its land and heart. The camp was a complete Polish city with its own school, hospital and post office and most important of all, a church and a railway station, some of which exists even today. Where, on the one hand, Valiwade was a haven for Polish women and children, there was something more brewing for young women. Love blossomed. When my father got married, my parents got married, uh, she didn't know English, Hindi, Marathi, and my father didn't know Polish. So I don't know how they communicated with each other but somehow they managed. Much years, 65 years when I married and 65 years I am alone in India. Our old friend gone to Poland. My sister with me and I married and sister going to Poland. There, my mother in Poland. I am staying alone. Then after, when my come children, after my year, 17 years, I am old, this time I married, and 30 years, then I getting five check. My father-in-law, he never tell that I am daughter-in-law, only daughter. That is how my journey with Poles in India were in progress. And a home away is taking the story to the world. In this day and age, I very strongly feel this is, this is the world story. This is not only about Poles in India or India giving protection to Poles, but this is a story which needs to be told on an international platform. It's a story of humanity, compassion, or as we in India say, a land without borders. So I would really like, I'm using this forum to talk about 
the project which I have titled A Home Away, which is an international feature film project, which is work in progress of both the stories of humanity and compassion. And as we believe, and I think Poland and we share very similar cultural values, Poland also believes that guest is God, and we also say Atithi Devo Bhava, which is guest is God. And we also believe that the world is one family, or as we say, Vasudev Kutumbakam in Sanskrit. And an international co-production feature film is what I bring here just to talk to you about, because as I have said, this India story or this story of humanity needs to go to the world. On the left is a very, very big filmmaker, Mr. Sham Benegal. And on the right to me is the author, Shama Zaidi. These two names do not need any introduction because they are very eminent personalities. And we've all three got together to curate this story. And as academicians, scholars, my film fraternity, let us start talking. Let us start talking about partnerships, about shared interests, about stories being told and stories of goodwill and togetherness being told. So I bring to this forum for people who are interested to talk to me about this story. I would really like to share and I would really like to talk to you about this international co-production. Uh, another thing recently, because uh, this project could not have been made possible a little Poland in India without our Honorable Prime Minister who supported the project first. And this time he, we hold it because these two films are now installed in India's iconic Red Fort, which is uh, in the Archival Museum. And both these films, uh, we have a museum where it says from the wars in Europe to the gardens of Jalia. It's a, it's a long story of Jalia. Jalia was our own history. And we have a huge museum there where these both films have been installed for everybody to come and see it. Jinkuya, Dhanewar. Thank you, Ms. Radu.